Hey, Composite Gloves here, and today we're going to be making a pad sound. So, we're going to be making a pad sound. I don't have a demo sound yet because I'm going to make it with you just in real time. It might be easier that way. I'm going to see. And we have, uh, they, someone asked for this, and they gave me some pad sounds, but they sound the, they sound like these sorts of sounds. Except for like higher up on the keyboard. You know, stuff like that. So we're going to be making some long atmospheric pad like sounds. So I'm going to go to default here. And the way I'm going to do it is I'm going to generate some upper harmonic content by using the shape tool. I'm going to turn it down for now. So we have that. I'm going to maybe do something like this. And now I'm going to send that out the filter and turn that off and out the effect. And on the effect, let's do the filter first. So I'm going to filter it. Something like that. There's a lot of filtering that goes in on these sounds that makes them feel like so far off in a way. Um, it's the way, if there's a lot of high frequencies, the sound sounds really close. And so, I don't know, it's like gives you room to think or something. It's just the way the sounds seem to work. So we're going to do that. Turn the chorus. That zipper noise, I was reading a programming book because I was programming a plugin. I'm not, not a good plugin, just trying to figure out how stuff works right now. And they're talking about the refresh rate of the of the knob or whatever. Apparently that rate is below the aliasing range and it causes a series of updates that is what causes it to make that noise. I don't know. I was reading it. I was trying to understand it. It was quite dense because it was calling on a lot of knowledge of classes and functions and stuff. I didn't get everything I was reading. So of course got to have a longer decay and we should probably fade in. Okay, let's bring in another thing. Let's do operator two. Let's send it out a separate filter. See, we're getting places. Turn on the verb. I'm also going to turn on the D click filters. Okay, at this point, I'm going to bring the envelope up. I don't know what I'm touching filter three for. It's um I kinda wanna mess with unison. Let's turn on an EQ. Mm. 
that's the way these filter these things the ones that he referenced something specific i'm going sort of down a different path but it was something along these lines and i'm not exactly trying to recreate what i what i heard but let's toss in a, a sine wave try it. See, the song they showed me, it was like an hour long of just like one sound. It was ambient music. It's, that's how that stuff is. I always wonder if the people who make it like listen to the whole thing, <laughs> you know, it's so long. It's just one tone. What would stop you from just writing out this big, long thing, putting in a couple filter automations and just rendering it all out? So we're just listening for subtle changes. Try playing some. I think we're pretty much at our sound. Let's try writing in some chords with it. It's pretty soft. We can fix that later. Bring in our awesome pad sound. Hit control S, put SD for sound design. And then we'll put citrus pad sound at most. Why not? Okay, so let's go ahead. Let's try um something sort of saddish do E minor. And gotta be long because we're so sad, you know. I don't know, maybe it's not sad. Maybe it's like a weird way of being happy. Let's see. Uh, let's go major there, you know? Let's do that. Hit L to go to pattern mode. Oh, man, we can start off up there. Be super. We could give it, like, a space to breathe. And then from there, ooh, this would be crunchy. 
Yeah, it's not gonna... Then we'll have another breath. I want to beef up the, the low end. Like a lot. Because it's going to be mostly just this. So. Atmos is like a trans producer. One day just decided they didn't want to use drums. And it became known as atmospheric music. Okay, let's... um. I don't want to like augment any of this stuff, but I don't want to write in a base. I'm going to use a separate sub. So we're going to, what I want to do is take this and clone it and put in a low note here and take out the first low note. And this one's going to be our sub pad. Whoops. Or just sub. And we are going to just take this thing down to one and this down to one ha, 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 ha. I think the filter on this guy is oh that's just too low that's weird why is it oh because I'm playing like such a low note is anything even coming out of this Yes, something is. Oh, but I don't have an output. And I'm outputting on pan. That makes a lot of sense. Which means I did that over here too. Hmm. I'm going to leave that in there. Just a stupid mistake. Sorry about that. I was thinking about redoing the tutorial, but we got a cool sound. So sometimes you make stupid mistakes and that's just the way life is. I just realized it's super soft because I turned it down. So let's go back to the beginning. And is this thing? It's got a pretty fast attack for a pad sound. Um, but some of the magic comes from how subdued it is. What would be fun is to put a RC, what are those, 24, 48? They have these crazy reverb presets for large that are like giant hall. Look at that. Let's uh, modify the attack some on these. Volume. Try. Is this one? See, that's cool. I dig it. I know it's a lot for just a small pad sound. Some people just go through presets, but it's cool to consider all this. Um, I want to add some noise, and I'm just going to output that on the thing with a lot of 
Let's go through one maybe. Yeah, we could keep writing and stuff. We could put in like a. I'm kind of feeling like some hi hats. You know? Go into black octopus leviathan hi hats. Do, 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 do. There are too many sample packs. And something like really minimalist, you know? Like, I say you know a lot, you know? And on channel one, I put this on channel one. Normally the kick goes, if I want to put a kick, it would have to be later. I'll put just a verb, just arbitrarily, in a delay. I have a send for this, but what the heck. EQ. You know what? This should really be a filter. Whoa. Filter, filter. The love filter. Let's go to default and set it to be a high pass filter. So mine's going more towards a different direction because I at most music, I don't know. That'd be a fun experiment to write, I guess. Create some waves in the background. I think, you know, things would build up real slowly. But that's the idea. This is our pad sound, right? Be interesting to hear this on an ARP. I was messing around with the this progression the other day. It was like a F E A. Had a really nice sound to it. Anyways, this is a long video because I just decided to sort of just arbitrarily do this and made a couple of silly mistakes along the way. But we got a pretty cool sound uh, as far as pads go. This is generally how pads do go. And I might choose a different plug uh, for various reasons because of just the way the envelope system and everything works in here. It's really powerful. Uh, but layering things together and getting a lot of shimmering resonancy textures in the middle is sort of the name of the game. Thus, all my filters... Uh, going at it mostly low pass filters in this case but you can achieve a variety of different effects by just filtering noise in creative ways so i might construct like a layer several layers and then put them all together to form one really complex sound and start out really simple and then work my way up in the composition because when you're working on a track if you start out with a really complex sound sometimes it doesn't vibe near as good as if you had introduced it if you have any questions let me know subscribe and have a blessed day Thank you.